Now, existence, you see, is something that is spontaneous. You've got to let go and let it happen, because if you don't, you're going to be all clutched up. You're going to be constantly trying to do what can happen healthily only if you don't try. But we have a strange anxiety in us that if we don't interfere, it won't happen. And that's the root of an enormous amount of trouble. But the basis of it all is this, then. If we say, you must survive, or I must survive, life is earnest, and I've got to go on, then your life is a drag and not a game. Now, it's my contention, my personal opinion, this is my basic metaphysical axiom, shall we put it that way, that existence, the physical universe, is basically playful. It isn't going anywhere. That is to say, it doesn't have some destination that it ought to arrive at. In music, though, one doesn't make the end of a composition the point of the, of the composition. If that were so, the best conductors would be those who played fastest. <laughs> and there would be composers who wrote only finales. <laughs> People go to a concert just to hear one crashing chord, because that's the end. <laughs> Same way in dancing. You don't aim at a particular spot in the room. That's where you should arrive. The whole point of the dancing is the dance. Now, but we don't see that as uh, something brought by our education into our everyday conduct. We've got a system of schooling which gives a completely different impression. It's all graded. And what we do is we put the child into the corridor of this grade system with a kind of, come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. And yeah, you go to kindergarten, you know. And that's a great thing because when you finish that, you'll get into first grade. And then, come on, first grade leads to second grade and so on. And then you get out of grade school, you've got high school, and it's revving up. The thing is coming. Then you're going to go to college. And by Jove, then you get into graduate school. And when you're through with graduate school, you go out to join the world. And then you get into some racket where you're selling insurance. And they've got that quota to make. And you're going to make that. And all the time, this thing is coming. It's coming. It's coming. That great thing, the, the success you're working for. Then when you wake up one day about 40 years old, you say, my God, I've arrived. <laughs> I'm there. And you don't feel very different from what you always felt. And there's a slight letdown because you feel there's a hoax. And there was a hoax. A dreadful hoax. They made you miss everything by expectation. Look at the people who live to retire and put those savings away. And then when they're 65, they don't have any energy left. They're more or less impotent. And uh, they go and rot in an old people's senior citizens community. <laughs> because we've simply cheated ourselves the whole way down the line. We thought of life by analogy with a journey, with a pilgrimage, which had a serious purpose at the end. And the thing was to get to that end, success or whatever it is, or maybe heaven after you're dead. But we missed the point the whole way along. It was a musical thing, and you were supposed to sing or to dance while the music was being played. But you had to do that thing. You didn't let it happen. And so, for this, in this way, the human being sometimes becomes an organism for self-frustration. So then, if you see, on the other hand, that existence, this is, as I said, my basic metaphysical assumption, which I won't conceal from you, that existence is musical in nature. That is to say that it is not serious. It is the play of all kinds of patterns. 
we can look upon different creatures as we look at different games, as we look at chess, checkers, backgammon, tennis. There's the tree game, the beetle game, the grass game. Or you can look at them as you look at different styles of music, mazurkas, waltzes, um, sonata, etc., etc., all down the line. There are all these different things doing their stuff. And they're going to do to do to do to do to hoo do to do you know, in different rhythms. And we're doing that. Just like uh, music goes... Um, pu, pu, um, pu, pu, um, pu, pu, um, pu, pu. That's what it does. <laughs> Everybody wants to spend their time swinging. <laughs> and that's, that's the nature of this whole thing we're in, you see. It likes to swing. That's why it does it. <laughs>